The 2021.1 release of Application Control introduces Event Viewer, and in this video we summarise what Event Viewer does and where and how it could be used. Event Viewer is a valuable tool. It reports event data and then allows you to create rules based upon that data. If your data is collected by Avanti Management Centre, Event Viewer has much to offer you. Event data from your user endpoints is continuously captured via the Management Centre server. Event Viewer is launched from Application Control. It provides a powerful query tool that allows you to view, group and filter your data. A set of pre-configured queries is available. A summary view identifies events that occur frequently or that impact a larger number of users. Alternatively, you can view user and or machine-specific details. Having identified events of interest, you can then use the event data directly to instantly modify or create configuration rules using simple drag or copy gestures. Any implementation of application control requires review. Organisation and user needs change and admin rights or privileges constantly evolve. A period of auditing, simply monitoring the events triggered by users, allows you to review these needs and to maintain your configuration as fit for purpose. Auditing is associated with new application control implementations and initial setup, but it is an essential part of ongoing maintenance too. Let us look at a typical use case. We want to identify what applications have been blocked because of trusted ownership. We'll use a default configuration and begin auditing. We open the Everyone group and set the slider bar to Audit Only. This action does not block any apps, but it enables application control to raise events showing what it would do if the current configuration rules were applied in restricted mode. We save the configuration, deploy it via the Management Centre and leave it running in audit mode for a period of one or two weeks or however long required to gather sufficient data. During this period, event data is uploaded from your user endpoints to Management Centre. To review audit data, we open Event Viewer in Application Control Console and then we connect to our server. We can now query the data gathered. Pre-configured views are listed. Each one will return a category of events based upon event IDs. In our case, we want the denied executables query. We select a time range. We want enough data to be typical, but not so much to affect machine performance. The summary view identifies the apps that have been blocked the most times for the most people. We can use this to edit the configuration accordingly. If we wanted to focus on a specific user or machine instead, we would clear the summary only checkbox and select the details required. We then run query. Events are returned and if required we can review the data and tailor how it is displayed using drag and drop gestures or the context menu. In our demo environment the user count is 1 but these Microsoft applications have been blocked a number of times. We decide we want to allow these apps for all users. So we select the apps in Event Viewer. And then, in Application Control Console, we go to the Everyone group. From the Event Viewer, we can right-click and copy, or drag the apps to the console. We set the Rule Item Type to File Name. If files are blocked because they are not owned by a trusted owner, we need to select the Allow File to Run Even If It's Not Owned by a Trusted Owner option. The metadata fields are populated. We select the fields to enable the data required. In our case, Vendor is the most important data field as this is the signer of the applications. Now, when we save and deploy this configuration, the Microsoft apps will be allowed so there will be no more blocked events relating to them. Using Event Viewer, we can repeat this process of audit, review and update over time. Each iteration improves the configuration and ensures it is and remains fit for purpose. 
Eventually, the only apps that are being recorded as denied are those that we do not want to run. When we're confident that the configuration meets our requirements, we can set the slider bar to restricted and deploy the configuration. Event Viewer can aggregate similar events from application control endpoints to show patterns of use. This makes it much easier to identify where configuration rules should be added or modified. Whether you're wanting to leverage real value from a period of audit, validate your current configuration settings, or perform queries affecting specific users, Event Viewer can help you ensure application control configurations are optimised for your business and meet the needs of your users.